could I ask a question? I was at, uh, particularly towards uh, probably Senator Bradley, uh, I was covering uh, Carol Shea Porter and Chris Von Holland in Portsmouth, and uh, I asked him a question about the veteran services. Now, during your watch, Senator Bradley, the Veterans Hospital, which I'm a veteran and I'm a user, it deteriorated badly. And I uh, asked the question about how the Ryan budget would impact veteran services, particularly uh, as a user of the Veterans Hospital, we're sent down, as you know, to the Boston area. I was just down there last week. They cancel appointments on us. We're not treated very well down there. And uh, I, uh, uh, Congressman Von Hallen, who, as you know, is a member of, was a member of the Budget Deficit Committee, uh, said that under the, which he calls the Romney-Ryan budget, that uh, 100%, virtually 100% of discretionary income would go towards defense spending, and that would mean there would be not enough uh, revenues and money to expand veteran services, like improving our hospital. Uh, both of you, Senator well, Bradley and the Senator. Okay. Senator Ayotte can uh, talk about the specifics sure. in the Ryan budget. First of all, when I served in Congress, um, I uh, worked to keep the emergency room at the Manchester VA hospital open and serving uh, the veterans community. I, I worked to create a uh, veterans health care clinic in Summersville that's now been expanded. There's one in North Conway. That's been a bipartisan effort uh, over the course of the years. Uh, my amendments to the budget when I was in Washington increased veterans health care spending by, I believe it was, in total around $5 billion over five years. So I think uh, I've absolutely uh, done what needed to be done to serve veterans health care. That being said, let's remember um, under the current policies now, uh, dry care costs are going to go up for every military uh, retiree officer. And we haven't got a full service hospital in Manchester, even though that's something Senator Ayotte is working diligently to um, achieve. But that's the those are the facts about my record. Okay. I'll let Senator Ayotte speak to Right, that. specifically about that, because of because I know you recently came out with uh, Senator McCain about pre the defense budget. So once again, that Chris Von Hollen well, says. Let me just uh, say, as I understand what you've represented, that Congressman Van Hollen said that 100% of discretionary spending goes to defense. That's what Chris That's Von Hollen said. Right Under now. the Ryan budget. Absolutely false. Okay. And we will get you the exact numbers, but that is false. And the one thing I want to say about Congressman Ryan is he has shown leadership on this issue that I've been traveling around the country on, which is the sequester of our military, which our military leaders have said are going to hollow out our force, that we won't keep faith with our troops. And this is an incredibly important issue, not only to our active duty, but to our veterans. I know our veterans groups have joined in and said, please resolve this sequester, and here you have leadership. Uh, from Congressman Ryan, and he has already have addressed this in the House. So we will get you the exact numbers, but what Congressman Van Hollen said is absolutely false. 